Oh, fuck. Hey, guys, Zach Marsh here, and welcome back to Layers of Fear. I thought I was done with this game, but apparently not, because DLC came out and I wasn't aware of it. Okay, and then it's been, not to mention that it's been like, year and a half, at least, since I played it, but here we are. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I didn't think I would ever be back playing this game, but apparently there was DLC, and I like to uh, complete things. I can't exactly complete the game if I have DLC left, now can I? But, anyway. I, I thought I was done with this game, but it dragged me back in. I'm terrified. I, 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 this game was terrifying. This was the first horror game I legitimately played on the channel. And it's also probably one of the scariest because it's got a lot of graphic imagery in it. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun ride. When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Well, uh... I have no idea how long this this DLC is, but we're here. I think there might be... Yeah, if I remember correctly, I got the bad ending. I think there's a good ending where he sets the house on fire. Uh, what's wrong with this thing? Remember that being there. And here I comes the weird. You out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. Uh, I can't take it anymore. Uh, no, thank you. Why won't you help me? Oh, you're just like your father. You don't care about me. You probably wish I was dead. Um...
there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. Who was talking? Right. Huh, still not quite there. Whoever's pounding on that piano, quit it. Go get your crayons. There we go. Oh boy. No, can't you see the colors? Okay. Does it want me to go back? <laughs> Shit! That that got me. <laughs> oh, this game's terrifying. <laughs>
This is freaky. There's gotta be another jump. Hello, little girl. Um. Okay, well that narrows my options significantly. Shut off on me, like it does. Uh. No, I do not. I can't do this without you. Uh, no. Why did you two pop up? That's not what I wanted! Oh boy. Um I'm on the edge of my seat. I just know something's gonna pop out and go boo. We're due. We're due for something popping out to go boo. Thank you. 
boy. Stop giggling at me! This isn't fun for either of us! Stop it! Oh, I have to go up. I want to go up, but I have to go up. Yep. Now, that was an expensive table. Who's going to clean that up? Ugh. Kids these days. Alright, going up works. So let's continue to go up. There's got to be more. Uh, yeah, going up seemed like the right decision. Well, can't get much worse from than here. Can't get much worse from here. Can't get much worse than this. Oh boy. Oh. I have a full picture. Doors!
Oh, hey there, young lady. Shouldn't you be in bed? It's all right, you can stay. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Well, she does to me. Right, there was a fire. She, there was a fire and she got horribly disfigured. I, 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 oh, but this ending here, this, you'll see, implies that the child didn't actually die. Because in the true ending, she dies. I didn't get the true ending, if you want to watch it, but... apples at me. Oh, well. Buckets. Can't, can't freaking trust buckets, can you? do this by myself? No. I don't want her to see me like this. I'm I'm sorry. I just I can't. Well, but yeah, this game, this ending, this DLC seems to imply that the child isn't dead. That was the right thing to do. Guys, we're proceeding forward. Um, okay. fire, but doesn't seem like the child was involved in it. And camera! My god. What was 
that? Oh, no. Honey, I, I need you. I need my medicine. Oh, please. Oh, it hurts so much. Why won't you help me? Why are you punishing me like this? Whatever I did, I'm sorry. Okay, this is creepy. Well, this is freaky. Missing wheels. Oh. Um... It won't stay on. Is that what we need this candle over here for? Sorry, Mr. Cat. Well, I clearly need that. But how do I get to you? The actual wheel's up there, but... How do I get to it?
Okay, we got the key. We got whatever it is. This cat is so anal. The cat's like, no, this isn't good enough. I need my actual wheel. lost. This isn't working. How do I do this? There's gotta be something I'm not doing right. Well, that's not a going to help, is it? Um,
This cat is a dick. <sighs> How do I do? I I can't get your wheel. My God. Uh, how do I do this? Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh boy. Kitty. And it has a little family. Princess. Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me. I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Ugh. 
Was that all dream sequence? Yes. Now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. That dog better not be where I think it is. Get the hell off! I told you not to spoil that fucking muck! Still locked. Where am I supposed to go now? You can go into the basement? Why? I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight. There's more. Seems there's a whole bunch of optional stuff we could have done miss. Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life. But also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser and have some story. Brilliant! Let's add some more of the same color! That won't make it boring or predictable. Oh, they sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser, just like you! I uh, don't like this guy. You're a dog. Ooh. Ah, yes, the autumn of life when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. Which part of dark skies did you not understand?
All right. Well, where's the black paint? No! Put that down! You are doing so well! What are you doing? Put that down! You're much too old for that childish nonsense! Well, now we've entered the painting. through the woods, when suddenly, out of nowhere, jumped out you know who. Eyes glowing bloody red, teeth sharp as razors, and yet the big bad wolf did not seem to faze her. Be careful, little girl, the big bad wolf sneered. You're in fantasy land, where things ain't what they seem. Oh, shush, you big old meanie, the frightened girl exclaimed. You're the only threat in this wonderful land. With my magic crayons, I can do no harm. I can make the trees yellow, turn them upside down, turn grass into candy, make the sky go red. I can do whatever pops into my head. The wolf was unimpressed with his show of skill. You do have the power to do what you will. Alas, I humbly urge you to practice restraint, for you are responsible for what you create. You're nasty, jealous, and mean, said the little girl. I just want to have fun, and you want me to learn. I wish a big old rock would fall down from the sky and crush your big bad mouth into a minced meat pie. Don't do it, I beg you, the big wolf cried. You lack scale and perspective, my sweet little child. But it was too late. His warning fell on deaf ears. Down came the rock and smashed them all to smithereens. Well, there's the rock. Okay, this DLC seems a bit longer than I was anticipating, but... Creativity is not a toy! It's a gift! Do you want to squander it like all those careless brats out there? you time and time again I won't let you waste time in these mindless doodles this is for your own good this is getting a bit interesting Another, another stage play?
little girl in red came upon a crossroads. There she stopped and wondered, Shh, where should I go? Up jumped the wolf and gave the poor girl a fright. Shh, do not be afraid. I'm not going to bite. One of these paths with danger is fraught, while the other one, most assuredly, Shh. is not. The little girl in red took a shortcut she knew through a lovely field of corn, all covered in dew. But the field grew dark and full of despair, and the eerie sense of dread filled the morning air. The girl heard the wolf yelling from afar. You have chosen poorly. You will not get far. Had you only learned how shadow and light intertwined on canvas, you could have chosen right. The little girl in red ran as fast as she could, her flowing dark hair tucked under her hood. But she quickly got tired, worn out by her flight, and succumbed to the darkness, never to see the light. Oh boy. Well... Okay. Well, how do I do this? Well, how am I su Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. Preferred parent. Stuck to one parent side through the entirety of the quarrel vision.
Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? I'm confused. Well, okay then. Why are there enemies now? Do I have no choice? Ah, yes! The autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. No! Any old house will do in times of prosperity! We need to see how it fares when misery darkens the sky! Well, I don't really like my dad. Well, this isn't good. Oh boy. Thank you. 
This is creepy. Just the noises alone are creepy about this game. Oh, it gets bigger as I push it. That's why it got so hard to push it. Just push it! Push it. Wake up. You see, in the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. I don't like this. any good no matter what color it is Enough. I've had enough. I want to go home. That's right. The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer. Until finally, marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel, hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed, avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. is a mess. Oh, more. I can hear you in there. 
I'm coming, you furry little bastards! You're not getting away this time! What the hell are you doing in there? Get out! So confused. What do I do now? All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was it? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. <clears throat> princess, keep looking at me. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar. <clears throat> Unleashed it the As the princess moved, the growl got louder. Look at me! The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster sniffed at the air. Its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. Okay. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her. And yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence. For she had neither. The head is near. Just outside of you. But our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight. Lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt the sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there, the princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait, that's not right. Her face, why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas.
Ah, uh, can I go in there now? Please tell me I can go in there now. I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? Rare Dream Unlocked by Bygones Be Bygones. What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house. A nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house. A place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. And that's the end, right? Unaware that she's still trapped in the burning building. <laughs> no, kidding. At the end? Hey, princess. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But why pink? Oh, that's bad. Like fire, like daughter, apparently. All right, well, that was uh, Layers of Fear and Her Inheritance. Finally finished this game. Never have to do it again. Never have to play this game again. Although they didn't, the developers did make another game that I want to look into at some point. Um, yeah, but that might not be for a while because I'm kind of got a lot of things scheduled coming up, so probably won't play it. Play it for a bit. But. Yeah, that's the end of the game, I guess. Okay, well, that was... Ugh, camera. Camera, you've been... You haven't been behaving today. Uh, just gotta fix the light. Hold on a second. Just... Yeah. That's how I fix it when it doesn't want to behave. Just place my hand over the... Just place my hand over like that and fixes it. But... Yeah. I think I'm going to leave the episode here? Well, I mean, series, but, I mean, I, I had finished, wrapped up the series a while ago, and then the DLC came out, but... But yeah, that's the end of Layers of Fear, forever. I, I, I don't think there's ever going to be a DLC that comes out, but that's the end of the story. That's... Okay, so, it was... So, he tried to for... So... He, what I understand is he, 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 the dad did go insane a little bit, 
But he did mean well and was trying to be a good person, but he didn't know how because he couldn't really express it. So, to apologize for everything that his daughter had gone through, he made her a point portrait. And then the cycle repeated itself at the end with her daughter. But that's the end of the game. That's it. There's no more. I can finally quit this game because I had started it and then I finished the main story and then the DLC came out and I didn't notice. But now it's done. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, hit that like and that subscribe button. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!